Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. This is a follow-up video to the testing a bike video that I made. And the concept behind that one was, Huh, isn't the idea of driving a bike to the North Pole kinda stupid? Oh, is it really? We should test this. And now the concept of this particular video is, Huh, you made a bike? Isn't the idea of driving a unicycle to the North Pole even more stupid? Is it really? We should test this because I got some comments saying, Haha, lol, do a unicycle. So I did. Booyakasha. I hate myself. Um, yeah, I, I've made what kind of almost maybe works as a unicycle. The main technological difference between the bike I made and the kind of bike, it, it's currently acting as a bike I suppose, that you can see right now, is the lack of SAS. Originally throughout the first video I was adding on progressively more and more SAS to try and increase stability, because that's what those parts do, right? Well. Maybe not, and this was pointed out by people in the comments section, so thank you for drawing it to my attention. Um, I was talking a lot about the low centre of mass of this design, as a result of the rapier engine's bug, which is, you know, an offset centre of mass. I was talking about that helping us lean into the corners. And then I was surprised when, with all the SAS I had, that wasn't happening. Advanced SAS keeps your rotation, it keeps you pointing the same way. So you're not going to lean into the corners, you're going to try and stay in the exact same orientation. It was the SAS, I think, that was preventing us from actually being able to lean into corners like that. So I got rid of SAS completely, and look what happened. Explosions. No, I'm kidding, this isn't, this isn't a representative view of the performance of the bike. That was, you know, this was the first design, it didn't work particularly well first time, okay? Um... But yeah, as you may have seen from the footage that you briefly saw before it exploded, uh, which is always reassuring, yeah, you get rid of SAS and suddenly it actually starts leaning into the corners, and you'll see this even better after we make some modifications. So the modifications I wanted to make to my first iteration are the change in the panels that the wheels were actually mounted onto, because they were dragging along the floor slightly. I want to add on some lights, um, change the position of the radioisotope thermoelectric generators, put some antennae, an antennae, however you pronounce the plural of antenna, on, and also a canard, or, you know, whatever it actually is, a wing, a, a tail wing, whatever, to help us with some smooth, gentle curving, rather than using the wheels, or relying on the wheels to turn for us. I was hoping that the wing might be a bit more gentle, but hey, we'll see. Um, so yeah, those are the only real modifications I felt I needed to make. Still no SAS. And I've done some repositioning to make sure it's all balanced and it should be okay, but I guess now we have to get Red Face to Jeb to test it. So, get onto the bike. We set off and we'll be able to find out exactly whether this still works. Um, I mean, of course, the wing might not have good implications because it could offset the center of lift, which could affect our balance, but no, it does. It does work. This is a unicycle, guys. I've made a unicycle. Uh, weirdly enough, it's actually a more stable unicycle than the bike was, and maybe even more stable than the four-wheeled buggy. Nah, it, it, it isn't. I wouldn't go that far. It's just that it does have impressive cornering skills, as you can see right about now. When I turn, it leans into the corner and it turns as you'd expect it to turn. It doesn't, nothing scrapes along the ground because there's nothing jutting out from the sides. Currently, I will make things jut out from the sides, which might be a mistake, um, but I want to be able to add on some more seats, so that's another modification I'm going to make in just a moment. But yeah, just look at the ground level. I've got plenty of clearance. Um... I'm literally- I'm not even pressing anything right now, I don't think. I'm just- I've trimmed forward, and that's about it. I feel like there are improvements that could be made. I feel like if there was a way, either using SAS, like small amounts of SAS maybe, or perhaps more wing surfaces, 
I could be able to lock the, or at least stabilize the pitch. So it won't, you know, shake forwards and backwards if we're accelerating or slowing down. You know, some sort of segue stabilization, that kind of thing. In fact, yeah, this is more of a segue, isn't it, really? I mean, it's got two wheels side by side. So it's not really a unicycle, because it has got two wheels. It's just got one balance point, which I guess makes it a segue. <laughs> just a weirdly shaped segue, a very long segue. Um... So yeah, I want to be able to stabilize pitch without restricting the roll, because that is what it requires in order to turn into the corners. Of course, I say it's all very stable, there are still problems with it, it's not perfect. Um, you know, if you hit a hill and you're going too fast, or if the incline is just too much, too quick a change of incline, then, you know, things are going to carry on exploding, as you will see very shortly. Um... I mean, there are probably things I could do. I could probably increase the clearance even more to make that less likely to happen. But really, just look at it. It's impressive, isn't it? It is actually fairly good. I'm just wondering now how to make it better practically. And if you have any ideas, there it goes. I think that was the front wheel. The front stabilizing landing gear that hit on the ground then. If you have any ideas, then I would love to hear them. So please leave me a comment. Um, whatever, you know, link your own crafts. I might not have time to look at them. I might be scared of viruses or whatever, but, you know, just tell me what you did. It'll be an interesting technological discussion. I haven't really looked on YouTube to see whether other people have made uh, videos like this and improved upon this design and how good mine compares to those potential existent videos. I haven't checked, honestly, this is just blind. Um, so I might just be posting something that is completely useless and not worthwhile to anyone. I just wanted to test my design and see whether it worked well. And I thought it did. Until I put it on Duna. And then it stopped working well. And I'm not entirely sure why. I really can't pin down one solid explanation. I'm guessing it has to be due to the lower gravity. The center of mass is low, it's below the ground, because the center of mass doesn't change with where you are. It's mass, it's not weight. It is a constant thing for this design. I feel like maybe, though, that the center of mass being below the ground is simply having less of an effect due to the lower acceleration due to gravity that we're experiencing. Um, I don't know if you can hypothetically say, oh, the center of weight, I think that's probably wrong terminology. But you get the point. There's something going on which means it's less stable, and you can see it shaking around. I'm struggling to get it to drive just in a straight line. I mean, I know there's hills, but right now it's on pretty flat land, and it just won't stay in a straight line at all. Really, really quite frustrating. Um, so I might develop the idea further, I might just leave it here. I mean, it's an interesting thing, it's not very practical, but I guess we'll have to see how it goes. Hi there, thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, then you may well enjoy some of the other stuff I do. There's Let's Plays, live streams every Sunday, and of course a variety of interesting gaming videos. Take a look, and don't forget that if you feel like it, you are welcome to support me over at my Patreon page. Big thanks to all my patrons. If you liked the video, please do like the video, and I will see you all next time.